Hello. We have Said here. He wants to prove that um, Jibrail is uh, mentioned by name in the Quran, in the Arabic Quran. And he's going to give us the words. He's going to show us that he says he has the proof. So we want to see that. Let's see what uh, worst number. Can you give it on camera what the worst of number course, is? Of course, of course, yes, yes. Exactly. Yes, yes I will. Uh, last week you asked for a proof from the Quran that Jibril is the is the sp spirit. Spirit of truth. Spirit, sp spirit. Look, let me I say said, it in Arabic first. Okay, hold on. Let me say what I because said last Quran week. Arabic, if you want, yeah, I know. In Arabic it says Ruhul Amin. Ruhul Amin. Ruhul Amin, okay. you said, is Jibrail. Oh, yes. So I said, in the Quran, can you show me yeah. where Ruhul Amin, it says, is Jibrail? I will show you. I will show you. Sure. I will show you. Okay. Can you go to... I will, my phone is coming on now. Okay. Can you go to Surah 2, Ayah 193? I think it's 193. Okay. All right. So Surah Al-Baqarah, yes. 193, yeah? yeah, yeah. But this is not the worst. It says, fight against them if they <laughs> persecute you until there is oh, no more persecution. You see, I got the wrong number and you got uh, one of your favorite ayahs. Huh? <laughs> this is the thing about Islam. You know? yeah, yeah. This is the spirit of this is the real spirit of Islam. The fight the kuffar, kill them you where you find them. Now is fighting? No, it's a, it's a spiritual fight. Yeah. The, so how do you know? Okay, come on, let's let's see the worst. Okay. I got the English here. We could read the English. Can I get it's the worst number? It's can I get the script? Yeah. Okay. Give me the worst number so I can look it up. And I'm going to just reiterate what I said. Quran does not mention Jibrail as the uh, spirit of truth. It does not name Jibrail. In actuality, it says, Ru of truth comes down with the angels. So that means there's two entities, the angels and the Ru. Is he going to say that the angels and the Ru is the same thing? Then that's a whole different discussion. Sorry about this, it's just, you know... Okay, it's uh, it's Surah 2. Okay, let me see. I, uh, we, we're gonna get to two ayahs, you know? Okay, what's the first ayah? The first ayah is... Uh, okay, the first ayah is 2, 9... 96 Surah 2 verse 96 Yeah, this is the one you will certainly find them most eager. No, Surah 2 Okay, Al-Baqarah, Surah, Surah 2, 2 Okay, all right, 96, right? 97, 97 97, okay uh, 97 Okay, so Quran.com, okay, 97 All right and now uh, we see it says, O Prophet, say, O Prophet, whoever is an enemy of Jibrail should know that he revealed this Quran to your heart by Allah's will, confirming what came before it, a guide and good news for the believers. Okay. Can I say something? Can, let me recite the Arabic. Okay, go ahead. Double, double, double sure, check. Double okay, sure. what is recited here? Man kana no, no. aduan li Jibreela. Man, hold on. Man kana? Man kana aduan li Jibreela. Jibreela. Fa innahu nazzalahu ala qalbika. Ala qalbika. Anyone who is enemy to Jibreel, you know, yeah. Allah said Jibreel. Yeah, yeah. Jibreel is the one who brought it down. Okay? So you agree with me now that Jibreel is the one who brought the Quran down from Allah to Muhammad. Okay. Okay, since we, okay, now we need to know 
how Jibril is the Holy Spirit. We oh, know yes. it's we know it's Jibril who bring that's that's it was established. I okay. think you knew yeah, yeah. you accepted this before. It was Jibril who bring mm. the, okay. Now we go to the one that say Jibril is the Holy Spirit. Okay, let's go there. That's okay. the main question, right? Okay. okay. All right, all right. Okay, Surah 26. Verse Surah 26, Ayah 193. Okay, Ayah 193. Where is the Quran.com? Why is it not coming on the Quran.com? Quran.com, okay. Surah, on, what is it? Ashara? 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 Oh, it's, yeah. 193, 994, yeah? Yeah, go to 193. Okay, 193, 194 is together. Okay, here it is. Okay, the trustworthy spirit has brought it down. You see? Okay. So it's Jibril who brought it down. We established already it's Jibril. So now Allah is, is not saying Jibril, He's saying the Holy Spirit, the trustworthy spirit. Hmm. Okay. Now, uh, the, who, where is this? Uh, this is a this is actual Quran, really. Quran, actual, actual Quran translation. Actual actual. Translation, so yeah. there's a okay. So that's fine. The Arabic say نزل به الروح الأمين. الروح الأمين. Okay. نزل به came down with it. Right. Now, can you show me the words in the cave when Muhammad got the revelation in the cave? Yeah. Can we go to that verse? Can you find that verse for me? The Quran doesn't talk about Jibril actually coming to Muhammad in the cave. He's just saying he come to Muhammad. So, do you agree with me now that here we established that Jibril, since he's the one who bring the Quran down, since that Jibril is the one who bring the Quran down, so he has another name which is Ruh al-Qudus. No. Ru Ruh al-Amin. Not at all. But look, it says the, the Ruh al-Amin is the one who brought it down. Okay, let me respond. Right. This is actual, the English is actual I read it. Quran. I read it. Yeah. It's actually okay, the it. trustworthy spirit has brought it down. Okay, okay. Has brought what down? The Quran. Where does it say that? Go to the verse before. Go to the verse before. Okay. I'm going to 192. Acts chapter 4, verse 16. Uh, Indeed, this, this is revelation from the Lord of the universe. Yes. Right? Indeed, okay. is the one who brought it down, right? The Spirit of Truth brought it down. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Now, the problem here is that you're saying the Spirit of Truth is the angel Jibra. Uh, yes. yes okay. Yes. But the Quran says that the Spirit of Truth comes down with the angels. It never says ever that Jibrail and the spirit of truth are one and the same. That's my point. Now you're talking about another topic. No, no, I'm talking about this topic because you're saying that I'm going to show you that the spirit of, this is what they call your, your because you believe it's Jibrail, yeah, yeah. you're saying that the Quran is saying that Jibrail brought it down. Yes. And it's also saying the Holy Spirit brought it down or the spirit of truth brought it down. Same, same thing. Okay. It's, the same, it's, uh, it's, it's not the same, same thing because in several... Why not? Look, why look, not? Because... It, hold on, let me answer it. Brother, don't, uh, don't huh? go against what the Quran say here. Huh. Look, okay. in the first verse I showed you that it's Jibreel who bring the Quran. Exactly, yeah. In one verse Allah said Jibreel bring the Quran. In other verse, he say, Ruh al, Ruh al Amin, bring the Quran. What? Okay, so that's why I said. It's the same thing. Okay. Are you, do, do, okay. do you not think it's the same? Said, same uh, one? I'll let you speak, so please let me speak, okay? I know you're a little bit nervous because no, you, you don't nervous. want me to prove you no, this not wrong. Nervous, no. But I have to defend my side, so I'm going to do that if you yeah. give me a chance. Yeah. Okay. Because there is two different things. The one place is saying Jibril brought it down, one place is saying Ruh uh, al Amin brought it down. So I said, to settle this, if Jibreel and Ru is the same, then let's go to the verse where it talks about the uh, Muhammad being in the cave and what happened in the cave. Because in that verse, it's the Ruhul Amin that brought it down. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, always, always, not that time only. Okay. Every time the Prophet gets okay. verses, yeah. it's Jibreel. So, so it you're Jibreel. saying Jibreel is not an angel? No, Jibreel is an angel. Let's establish this. Jibreel is an angel and he's, you know, God has a lot of angels and he assign a job to everybody. For example, for the job of revelation and knowledge and faith 
is assigned to Jibril. The job of uh, of rain is assigned to another another angel who brings down the rain. The, the, the assignment, the job of uh, taking people's life in death, we call him Malik al Maut. Malik al Maut. Malik al Maut. The, the angel, angel of, of death. death. That's his job, you know. Allah yeah, gave yeah. him that job to, to take the lives of people, of people. when they die. Mm -hmm. okay. So, in his, do you have that in Christianity? Every angel have job. No, Certain not, job. Not, no, we don't so have angels. In of Islam, oh. okay, in Islam, Jibril's job is to bring the revelation and the scripture. And the scripture. Yes, yes, yes. So that's why uh, he brought the scripture to Muhammad. That's why, yeah. He came to Muhammad uh -huh. to give him the Quran. And he came to Mary to make her pregnant, pregnant. with uh, Jesus. Jesus. And then when Jesus was born, he came to Jesus to teach him the Quran. Sorry, to teach him uh, the, Injil the Injil and the Torah. And, the Torah. and to raise him as a, believer, as a believer and then make him a prophet. And make him a prophet. Yeah. So that means that all the prophets throughout history have been... He, he came to Moses as well. Yeah. Okay, so that oh, means yeah. Moses, Pretty Abraham, throughout history, yeah. uh, throughout yeah. history yeah, yeah, yeah. all the prophets, Jibreel came to them. Yes, yes. Yeah. Because in the Bible it says the prophet of God yeah. in the Old Testament is never a Jibreel. It's, a, it's another prophet, pro, uh, the angel of God it says. Angel Do you have the angel of God? Of God? Okay, what does he do, this angel of God? He does a lot of things. He's the one that came to Moses. Okay, to... to does the Quran say... Okay, hold on. Didn't Allah speak to Moses directly? Ah, okay. Allah no, spoke to Moses no, okay, directly. Directly. So but that's an interesting then, then, point. Then, look, there is actually... There's no a problem mention. here, you know that. If Allah is talking directly to Moses, why is he not talking to him uh, through Jibra? Ah, you know, Allah mentioned this is speciality for Moses. Okay, why, why did he, he do said, that? Huh? Because Allah, uh, you know, He communicates any way He wants. Allah, in the Quran, He said, I spoke to Moses directly. So you're saying that Allah entered His creation. He left Jannah, he came down to the, earth. He spoke through the tree. The fire, the bush. The bush, you call it bush, yeah, we call it tree. Tree, okay, the fire in the tree. Yeah. Allah became a fire. But you say God became in the tree, we don't no, say no. that. Well, so where was God at that time? Uh, he 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 used it as a phone. He used the tree as a phone. Okay. Just like so Allah speak was speaking to, to Moses yeah. through the phone. But I thought his phone was Jibrail because he speaks to all the prophets through Jibrail. So he's his phone. Look, Allah is not restricted to one way. Ah. Okay. So now he changes. I wonder why he changes. It. Because the yeah. thing is, when you when you die, ask Allah this question. Okay, okay. Okay. Ask God. I'll ask God. Why you ask us? Why? Because you're why, no, because, why God do this? Why? No, no, no. Because, Ask him. Because the thing is this: if I read the English Quran, yeah, yeah. it says Jibril instead of the Ruul Amin, which should translate into the Spirit of Truth. So, if I'm a Westerner reading the Quran, I would think that Jibril came to Muhammad in the cave, which he didn't. Do you know the word Nazila, Nazila. No, what is it? Came down with it. Okay, Nazil, Nazil. Nazil, Nazil, yeah. Okay, so let me recite the Arabic for you. Maybe you will recognize. But do you, why do you ignore the point I make? I because just made the point. You, Listen, you know, why are you ignoring this? Listen, if we speak about in your English Quran, it doesn't say Ru of Truth came to Muhammad in the cave. It says Jibrail but came to Muhammad. Arabic, but if you, you read the say Arabic, that. if you know the Arabic, you won't say that. My friend, I'm not talking about the. So you're saying your Quran is changed in the English. Look, in one verse, Allah say, Jibril nazala bil Quran. Jibril brought the Nazala Quran. Bil -Quran. Yeah, yeah. In another verse, Allah said, Ruh al Amin Nazala bil Quran. Uh, Nazala bil Quran. Okay. So that means so Allah oh, just changed the, change the name. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Because so, he has, it's like we say uh, Muhammad and then we say Prophet. Prophet. We, okay. It's the same person, right? Yeah. Okay. So I got your point. You're saying that in one verse, he's saying it's uh, the spirit of truth Allah is using that term. And then the other term, he's using the spirit of. Uh, as uh, Jibrail, as uh, yeah, as the one who yeah, yeah. brought it down. Do you, do you think the two <clears throat> verses prove that? No, actually not, you. because there's other verses that say the spirit of truth comes down with the angels. It doesn't say is the angel. There are other verses, and I can find those oh, for do you. you. Know, do you know, brother? That's that's the Yom Al Qiyamah, you know. No, no, no. I'm talking about ju the every when said, the angels come down, the rule to, of. Okay. You wanna go to the verse? Okay. okay. The, the, that's on the okay. day of judgment, bro. Show me. Which is a person.
Okay, Surah 78. 78. 38. Can you read it? I, I don't. Oh, you have it in English. Oh, you don't have. I it have it in Arabic. Uh, in Surah 78, verse. Hold on, I'm trying to look for this verse. And they are 16. Uh, can you look up 16:2 in the Quran? 16:2. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. So we go to Quran 16:2, okay? Okay, here, 16:2 Quran, it says, He sends down the Spirit by His command through His angels on any of His servants whom He wills warn people that there is no deity but okay so in the english translation they have totally changed the, me the meaning to say in the arabic it says he sends down the spirit with the angels he commands it okay so here it says he sends down this spirit by his command his uh, through his angels on any of the Okay, can you read the Arabic, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, show me the Arabic. Yunazzilu al malaikata, I memorize it, I know it. Yunazzilu al malaikata bil ruhi min amrihi. What does that mean? Yunazzilu al malaikata, it's basically saying that mm -hmm. when Allah wants to reveal something to people, He sends angels with the ruh, with the spirit, which is knowledge. Okay. So basically, even though He say angels, but He's talking about one angel, who, who, whose job is, whose that is his job, which is Jibreel. So he could, uh, it's like saying, uh, uh, he, he said angels, but he means Jibreel. He means Jibreel. Now you're going to tell me what angels okay, what's mean. What's your point about this? The point is you just made my point. You just no. made it. Because yeah. you just said, yeah. when he said angels, he meant Jibreel. And yeah, I told yes, you, yes, yes, when yes. we started this conversation, I said there is nowhere in the Quran God is saying that Jibreel is the angel of, the, of truth. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that when we started the conversation, I said there is nowhere in Quran where the Quran says that Jibreel is the angel of, uh, is the spirit of truth. And now you just proved it. This verse actually proves that because it's saying that he sends down the spirit with the angel. That doesn't mean that, he, why doesn't he say he sends down Jibreel? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. would mean the same thing, but he you doesn't know, say brother, that. You know, I started to re to see that you actually have no point at all. I don't After have After all point. this, okay. you have no point because I don't know what's your point. You don't know. Sometimes you show want, me, you, show you want, me. You it says something. you just made the point. Sometimes you, you want just, something you to just, be proven, you, and then then you jump to something else. You and just then said, you jump. Said, said, didn't you just say, angel? When he said angel, he meant Jibra. Did you just now say that? Yeah, it's like it's like Allah say. Allah sending Muhammad to the people and he said I send human beings to people are you saying Allah doesn't know the difference between the spirit and angel spirit is the spirit not an angel an angel is a is a created being he's not the spirit of Allah he's not the spirit of look, truth look, he's not a look, spirit look why he is an angel the reason, the reason he's a messenger of Allah you, look you, that's what he is because you have the mentality of a mushrik so you see everything what is a mushrik mushrik is because you a mushrik is someone who try to think and know about god with his mind no oh, god is made of this god is made of that no, god no, has no. a spirit I'm asking why you, you go there why because you're going here you're you're making it up i'm not making a jibrail into the spirit of the truth because you're saying quran in one verse it says that jibrail quran is not a clear book right everybody knows that it's very complicated because nobody understands the Arabic, even the Arabs who understand the Arabic don't agree on it. That's one thing. On top of that, you have Quran in English, which completely takes out the uh, spirit of truth 
uh, and instead put the word Jibril. So anybody who reads English, which is billions of people who are reading it in English, are reading the incorrect, which is the changed Quran. So you say Bible is changed. Actually, the Quran is changed. In the English, the Quran is completely changed because they're putting in words that are not in the Arabic. That's the point. So in the Quran, you just see right in this verse, it says the angel. It doesn't say Jibrail. It would it would be this. If you were correct, this verse would just say Allah okay, revealed okay, this revelation this. through okay, Jibrail. Sam, That's okay, it. Let me ask you this: Who who are you? Who bring the revelation to Muhammad? In the you cave. In the cave. In the in Not the cave. Not just in the cave. Every every time. Every in time. The, I'm just let me answer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In the cave, it says the spirit of truth. In Christianity. Truth is God. Okay. The Spirit of God is the Rule Kudus. Okay. Rule Kudus is the Holy Spirit. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, in my mind, and and rule and we say the Bible is written by the Rule Kudus. Okay. 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 That means by the Holy Spirit, because people are inside, and that is exactly what the Quran is saying about Muhammad getting the revelation through the Holy Spirit, okay. which yeah, is yeah. exactly the way that it should it's be. It's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not. Okay, okay. Because you are changing it to uh, Jibrail, you, you, you are making it wrong. Do, do you accept an angel came to Muhammad and gave him the Quran? My friend, I can only read what the Quran says, the spirit of truth. From the Quran, yeah, you just... So the Quran yeah, yeah. is not saying angel. The Quran is saying, the, okay, in the verse where it says he's getting the revelation in the cave, it says the spirit of truth, which truth we know is God. God is truth. His spirit is the Holy Spirit. Which is rule Qudus. So if he gets the message from rule Qudus, I have no problem with that. Okay, so but then saying, Muslims are saying, no, it's not rule Qudus, okay. it's, it's are you saying, angel. Okay, are you saying Allah, God, has a spirit like we do? God has a spirit like we do. Yeah. And his spirit is called Holy Spirit. Okay. In the tr okay. Just answer me because I want to ask God you is a spirit. Okay. But, but we're talking about God and His Spirit. It's not God is a spirit. Because if He is a spirit, so how can He have a spirit if He is one? Okay. I could have a car, but I'm not a car. Okay. So God, God is His spirit. Is He spirit or He has a spirit? Okay. Yeah. So you're so you saying that God... No, I know. I know. So God in Christianity, that's why we have the Trinity, right? Yeah. Because in the Trinity okay, is the, the Father, Father. Okay, you have the, the Father, Father and the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit and, the Son. and the Son. Okay. The Holy Spirit, is it the Father's Spirit? His it's Spirit? Every, all three of them are one. Okay, but you say God is Spirit. Then you then describe the something Spirit else as the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. So is God not a Spirit then? Okay, when the Holy Spirit, okay, now let me tell you this. When in the Bible, when it talks about the Holy Spirit came on the disciples right yeah. right did the father in heaven came on this on the disciples you tell me no uh, the father in heaven is there is the spirit uh, of god okay, okay. is called the holy let's spirit let's go from there let's go from go, there okay go sometimes you say god is a spirit and then you say the the spirit came on people which is not god so okay it's, it's so, another, another so that's, spirit. that's, another that's confusing spirit? for you but i understand that i'm trying to explain it okay maybe you explain this to me next week or the week after i okay. don't know if you don't want to hear it, it. what do or, you mean tell me, i already tell, me, tell you or right tell me this is one of the things that you christians don't know no we know because god me, me i just tried to explain to you when the spirit of god which is called the holy spirit comes on the on the disciples does that mean that God left the heaven and came down to earth? No, it doesn't. God's spirit is eternal. So it is in heaven. His Holy Spirit that he sends down to us. That's why Jesus says, I will leave you. I will send my uh, helper to you, which is the Holy Spirit. So he sends the Holy Spirit. Okay. Okay. For us. Okay. This is the spirit of truth, which in Quran, what it says. That is what my point is. Now, how can God has a spirit and has a Holy Spirit and Jesus is God and the Holy Spirit is God and God? That's the Trinity debate. We've had that debate millions of times. So I know Muslims can't get it because they still think that uh, this is three gods. This is one God in three persons. God is not like us that he has to have one uh, being and one person. He can be three persons in one being, which is what he is. So, uh, but be honest, in, and the Quran honest, says God is I don't is know how God. you guys can reconcile. Sometimes you you say God is a spirit, and then you say there he is has a, a Holy Spirit. Yes, th there is a Holy Spirit that comes from God. So the ho it okay. comes from what God. What kind of 
creature is it? What is it exactly? So, so it's not what like the one. It's he's not like okay, it's, okay, a it's a spirit. Okay, it's a and spirit. a spiritual Does being. Does it still walk in the, in the world today? In, huh? Does it still walk in the world today? Holy Spirit does. God yeah. Spirit. Okay. So all the Christians, so, they when they are born again, oh, they get the Holy Spirit. Okay. That what the leads them to the truth. That's what will show you what God is. Because if you don't have the Holy Spirit, this will make no sense to you. Okay. Because the did, thing is, did you get? The, did it come yes, to you? Yes. It came to you. Yes. Of course. You when you receive, when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. The Holy Spirit. How do you know it came? Because came because the that? things that were obscure to me, that the faith oh, and the you, thought, you suddenly saw, saw yourself, saw yourself understanding exactly, of things. exactly what you could but, not understand. But that could be something else. That could be something else in, in your mind, yes. But throughout history, if you look at the Holy Spirit, everybody, okay, you can say you're making this up. Okay, let's say I'm making this up. But the thing is. This has been from the beginning, from the, you know, okay, let me give you a good example. A good example is when the disciples, when they run away from Jesus, when he was captured, right? Did they have the Holy Spirit then? I, I would guess no. That's right. They did not. So what happened? They lost their faith. Okay. They run away. They hide. You know, we call it yaqeen in, in Arabic. Okay. Hold on. Let me complete the story. After that, when Jesus said, you will receive the Holy Spirit, go over there, you'll get it. And they received the Holy Spirit. They came out boldly and did not fear at all. Okay. Okay. Because okay. before they were hiding, oh no, we're going to get killed. All we don't right, want to be killed. Right, fair enough. That's fair what enough. happened. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. But do you know we have that in Islam? Tell me. We have that. We tell have, me. Tell me. We have uh, the Holy Spirit. Tell me. Tell me. In Islam. Tell me. And that's why Islam throughout its history, uh, Muslims have been brave in many, many, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, the, in the wars, yeah. Yeah, they would go to war without fear. Okay. So that, that that kind of, of that kind of bravery is not the same. Basically, lack of fear. It, it's lack of fear. No, that's not the only definition of yeah. the Holy Spirit. You just said the disciples were. I gave you an ball. example yeah. and for then somebody they because bold. when they become bold, bold, yeah, because they had the Holy Spirit, they knew they had the truth. That. We have that. Okay. It okay. was good talking to you. Okay, we'll talk again. You have the time. spirit of bravery in war. It's not the spirit of uh, truth. So what they had was the spirit of truth. It came to them and they proclaimed the truth to the world. Islam is completely false. Jibreel is not the Holy Spirit. Muhammad did not get the Holy Spirit. Jibreel did not. It's all a, it's all a mixed up thing. They don't know who's who. But they try to make Jibreel the Holy Spirit, which is false. Islam is false. Stay away from Islam. Jesus is Lord. I'm out. Right. Do some research.